So, could Harper's tokens be the new Dying Light dockets? The reason I think that is because we've just received three tokens for taking part in the first Dying Light 2 community event, and back on the original game you'd receive dockets to redeem from the Quartermaster uh, for gold weapons and king mods etc. Of course there's no Quartermaster in Dying Light 2, and you can simply redeem Harper's tokens from your stash, however it does seem like Harper acts as a kind of Quartermaster in that you still need to go to him in order to spend the tokens. Now I'm not entirely happy with this new format to be honest, but I'll give my thoughts on that in a moment. Uh, firstly, let's talk about the new event compared to the events of the original game. It seems that you can only take part in a DL2 event by joining it via the Techland GG website, so straight away you're forced to sign up if you want to participate. Whereas on the original game you could just choose to opt in or out of events when they went live from within the game options. I'm not sure why they've chosen to do things this way in the sequel, but on the plus side, you don't have to wait for the event to end now before collecting your rewards, as you can just go back to Techland GG and click claim as soon as the community target has been achieved. Unfortunately though, these tokens can't simply be turned in for some cool stuff in Dying Light 2, and in true DL2 style, this is where it gets way too overcomplicated in my opinion. So as I mentioned earlier, once you've claimed the tokens, you can find them in your stash under extras, and then you have to redeem them and move them into your inventory. Then it's back to Harper's at the Fisheye to buy some cool stuff, right? Well, actually, no. In fact, you can't buy anything at all until you've ranked up on the new Nightrunner rank system. When you interact with Harper and open the vendor menu, you find that everything is locked behind certain chapter rank levels, and therefore the so-called reward for taking part in the event is utterly useless until you've been forced to grind your way through all of these daily and weekly bounties in order to gain rank points. Now, don't get me wrong here, I'm not saying the new chapters and rank system is bad in itself, it's a pretty good update and I'm sure the challenges and new skins will have lured back many people to play the game for a few more weeks. What I am saying though is that in my opinion, a reward for taking part in an event should not be hidden behind this grind wall. I'm thinking maybe there should be a limited time special purchase item after an event that anybody at any skill level can redeem as it's simply not fair on new players the way it is, or anybody for that matter who has difficulty surviving the night monsters. I mean, even with a max level character, you need to be pretty skillful to take on a volatile at night, and more often than not you're going to die every time unless you're fully stocked with boosters and UV flares. One redeeming feature during the event though was that killing goons and banshees seemed to give a much higher chance of looting for artifact or even legendary weapons, so I actually found myself spending more time farming them than wasting time on the bounties, as in my opinion these weapons are infinitely more appealing than most of Harper's wares. But aside from the events, there is one positive thing that I think is going to come from Harper's tokens, and that is potential new Dying Light docket codes. These things were incredibly popular in Dying Light, and every time one dropped on the Dying Light Discord, I'd make a video passing on the news, and they were always very well received. If you're not aware of what docket codes are, basically every time one dropped, you just entered the code onto the redeem section on Techland GG, as long as it was linked to your game of course, and then you'd collect a random gold weapon from the Quartermaster. These gold or legendary weapons were very durable and could be used as a powerful base for your blueprints, and in turn would give you an advantage in the game. I'm convinced now that Techland must be planning something like this for the future of DL2. Uh, I just hope that they can be more immediately redeemed for legendary weapons again instead of having to complete the chapter rank systems. Let's be honest, this is only chapter 1 of what could end up being a whole list of chapters and personally I'd find it incredibly frustrating if I was forced to complete these difficult tasks to get to the good stuff every time a new code dropped. What made getting a free docket code exciting before was that you got something that boosted your character and made you feel godlike, and personally, I'd rather it felt like getting a nice treat every time than, you know, than it being a complete chore. So what do you think about my theory? Are Harper's tokens likely to replace Dying Light dockets? Also, do you agree that the event rewards shouldn't be locked behind the new rank system? And lastly, would you be excited at the prospect of new Dying Light 2 docket codes if they gave you legendary weapons again? Let me know in the comments as always, and if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!